Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Caitlin, and today we are continuing the Team Ruby fan art series. So this is part two in our little four part series, and today we are drawing my favorite heiress, the Ice Queen herself, Weiss. I really, really like Weiss, and I love her character, and I especially like her new character development in season four and her outfit. I just, uh, I just love it so much. I was really excited to get to Weiss because I also don't typically draw like really feminine looking girls. I'm usually more drawn to like, the tomboyish looking girls. I don't really draw a lot of girly girls. So drawing Weiss kind of gave me the opportunity to push myself out of my comfort zone and try to go for more of a feminine figure. Cause I never draw skirts and I, I never draw cute frilly things and whatnot. It's just mostly monsters and tomboys and kick ass stuff. But you know, Weiss is kick ass in her own way. And it's gonna be a great challenge to draw this kick ass awesome female character. So you know what, let's go ahead and jump in and get started. Hey guys, so you're gonna have to excuse me, but I am ridiculously brain dead today while recording this. Uh, I've been having a really rough time at my day job. Uh, I do full-time graphic design along with YouTube on the side. It, it's a lot of work, but it's, it's really worth it. And honestly, it's how I can sustain myself and keep an income, but um, it's just, it's been really, really stressful. So my brain is exhausted. So I'm gonna try my best to do some fun commentary, but if I trail off or kind of jump around on weird random topics, that's exactly why, because I am totally brain dead and exhausted and I've been so, so stressed. Like there's my job that I do 40 hours a week, eight to five, Monday through Friday. And then on top of it, I come home and work on these videos. And then uh, I have Phoenix Comic Con coming up, which is at the end of this month. So I have been scrambling to get all my work done for that. And there's still quite a bit that needs to be done. So yeah, I'm just, my brain has basically become jello today. So I'm gonna try my best, but just letting you guys know, just a warning. So anyway, I had a lot of fun with this piece. I talk about it more in the outro, but this was really, really fun. And I actually did most of it during a live stream. So if you guys want to join and kind of see the process of making art or just hang out, I usually try to do a live stream every week on Saturdays. I've been trying to get a little bit better at it. This Saturday might be a little busy, so I don't know when or if I can do it. But uh, typically I try to aim for at least once a week, typically on the weekends. And uh, yeah, so I did most of this on stream. I did the rough sketch on my own. And then uh, I jumped on a stream to do the line art and the color, and it was a lot of fun. You guys made it really fun, and it was just fun to hang out and chat and talk about Ruby and listen to random songs. And God, I don't remember what all we did since it was like a week ago, but it was it was really fun. So thanks, you guys, for stopping by. And if you guys want to join future Twitch streams, it's twitch.tv forward slash kmckaig, so K-M-C-C-A-I-G-U-E. And uh, yeah, so that's what... I do on weekends, see, there it is. I trailed off because my brain is totally dead. But anyway, this was a lot of fun, but I had a couple of major challenges. Um, one of them was the leg. The leg that's drawn up, it's just, it wasn't working right. In the initial sketch, I did like how it looked and it looked anatomically correct in my sketch. But then when I went to do the line art, it just didn't feel right. Like nothing looked right, it looked kind of broken and I just couldn't get it to look realistic or believable. Like this leg is raised up, it just, it looked really, really weird. So I ended up basically leaving it alone for a bit and moving on to the rest of the piece and then coming back to it. But I think it took like maybe two or three, I don't even know, maybe even more sketches to get that leg to at least look a little bit better. And I actually had to change the pose just cause it, I couldn't get it to look right. And it was just so frustrating. And I remember at some point during the stream, I'm like, you know what, fuck it, I'm getting up, I'm gonna get some tea and then I'm gonna come back and tackle it. And then I was able to do it. So thank goodness I was able to eventually do it. But yeah, overall, I still had a lot of fun with this. And I really, really like how it turned out. I'm actually really proud of this one. Um, it's a different pose than I'm used to. Like I said in the intro, I don't really draw a lot of feminine girls. So I knew that when I got to Weiss, it was gonna be more like, I, I needed to make her more feminine and have a more, um, I guess, feminine pose in a way, but still 
very an elegant pose. That's what it is. I wanted her to have a very elegant pose instead of a more, uh, I guess, sturdy. Not sturdy. I can't think of words today, guys. I instead of a more guyish battle pose. I don't know how to describe it. I was just so brain dead. But anyway, I wanted her to look very elegant and sophisticated, and I really, really liked how this pose turned out. And I really like Weiss as a character, so it was a lot of fun to draw her. Honestly, throughout all of these Ruby pieces, I'm going to tell you guys that I like the characters because I don't think there's any character that I really dislike in Ruby. I really like all of them, all of their different character arcs, all of their different personalities. So you're just going to hear this every time, like, oh my god, I love so-and-so. Um, my favorite is coming up soon, and I'll be drawing her in a little bit, but... Uh, overall, all the other characters I still really like a lot. They all have their own individual personalities and quirks, and I like how their dynamic works between the team and between each other. And uh, I know I talked about some favorite lines that I liked from Ruby in the last episode, and you guys mentioned one that I wanted to say for Weiss, and one of my favorite lines that really defines her as a character and I guess just gives her a really great personality is when Ruby is talking with uh, Yang and Blake and Weiss and they get called out for wearing skirts. And then Weiss is like, it's a combat skirt. And then Ruby's like, yeah, and they high five. I, I love it. I absolutely love that line. I laugh every single time and it's just so great. And then with the recent season four development, I just, I've loved Weiss's character even more. Um, you know, she started as, you know, a more prissy, stuck up, a little bit spoiled heiress in season one. And I think it kind of stuck around through season two a little bit, but three and four, she's really developed into a much more complex and interesting character. And I won't really spoil anything, but season four, we get to learn a lot more about her family, her upbringing, and basically, you know, where she inherited certain traits or features or personality quirks, so to say. Um, but it was, it was really cool to see her family in contrast to her and how she's different than them in certain aspects and how she's the same in certain aspects. But I just really, really, really like the character development for her in season four specifically. I mean, everyone did have character development in season three and four, and I feel that's the biggest development they've had in the series. But specifically Weiss for season four, I think was really, really good. I really liked it. But yeah, overall, I really liked the piece. So just a really quick rough synopsis. I did the initial sketch with uh, just a pencil soft brush. And then I went through and did the line art. And then underneath that, I had the single layer of color, which I then blocked in the main colors. Um, and then over it, I did a little bit of shading and highlights. And then in the background, I've been really liking adding the paint splatters and different effects. And then I talk about this, I think, in the outro of this. I'm not sure. They're kind of all meshing together. But I try to add some type of aspect of the girls to each piece. So for this one, I added the snow effect onto her background, and I really like it. And then I also kind of cover this in the outro a bit, but my husband gave me the really good idea of adding the crests of each of these girls and it adds so much to the background and I really, really like it. So overall, I love these pieces. I love how they're turning out. I am having so much fun and I'm really excited to start the next ones with you guys. I think you're gonna really like them. All right, well, I will let you guys enjoy the rest of the speed paint and I will see you guys at the end. Bye guys.
All right, and there we go. This is the finished Weiss piece. I really, really like how this one turned out. My husband gave me the really good idea of adding their crests behind them, so I went back and added it to Ruby's, but I also will be adding it to the girls going forward. And I had a lot of fun with this one. It was a little hard to pick what background blue I wanted because I kept going back and forth between a couple of different looks, but I just, I love this piece overall. And it was a great challenge to draw a more feminine character in a much more feminine pose. And it was an awesome challenge and I really had a lot of fun with it. So thanks again guys for stopping by and checking out this video and I hope you're enjoying the Ruby fan art series. I'm having a lot of fun and it's great to actually just have time to do some fan art. It's just, it's been a blast. And if you guys like this video, I'd love if you hit the like button and if you aren't already, you can hit that subscribe button. I have new videos every week and I guess I'll see you guys next time for my favorite Faunus. I'm really excited to draw her and I think you guys are gonna really like it. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye everybody.